Ancient Remedies for Modern Smiles Ever wondered what ancient Greeks, Egyptians, and medieval peasants did to keep their pearly whites, well, whitish? <laughs> what if I told you that the quest for a perfect smile involves some downright bizarre ingredients? From crushed bones to burnt toast, ancient oral hygiene was a whole different ballgame. Let's take a wild trip back in time and explore the distasteful history of toothpaste. The Ancient World In the land of the pharaohs, cleanliness was next to godliness, and that included dental care. The ancient Egyptians were among the first to concoct toothpaste, and their recipe? A delightful blend of powdered ox hooves, burnt egg shells, and pumice. Yep, that's right. Your toothpaste was gritty enough to make sandpaper look smooth by comparison. But it wasn't just the Egyptians getting creative. The Greeks and the Romans took things to another level, adding crushed bones and oyster shells to the mix. Talk about brushing with the power of the sea. Poseidon would be so proud. And let's not forget the Romans, who decided urine was the secret to a dazzling smile. Yes, you heard that right. Urine. Medieval mounts. As we march into the medieval period, things didn't get much better. Dental care was more about preventing the unbearable stench of rotting teeth than it was about keeping your teeth and achieving a Hollywood smile. Recipes from the time suggested mixtures of honey, burnt bread, and herbs. One medieval toothpaste recipe called for a mix of powdered mint, it's a good start, rock salt, dried iris flour, and get this, pepper. Nothing like a spicy smile to wake you up in the morning. The mint really is a nice touch, but that rock salt, dried iris flowers, and pepper. Imagine brushing your teeth with something that tasted like it belonged on your dinner plate rather than in your mouth. Well, and speaking of questionable choices, clean one's teeth during medieval times, here's a technique for cleaning your teeth that was very popular method during that era. And it's gaining popularity again today. Believe it or not, some folks have turned to a somewhat Distastefully dark DIY project. Charcoal. Yep, this now modern trend of brushing your teeth with activated charcoal came from, now you know, medieval times. The Renaissance to right now. And by the Renaissance, toothpaste recipes started to get a little more refined, if you can call them that. Chalk, brick dust, burnt bread were popular choices. People believed that if it was gritty enough to polish a wall, it ought to polish your teeth. <laughs> of course, it wasn't until the 19th century that toothpaste began to resemble what we use today. Thanks to advancements in chemistry and the better understanding of hygiene, soap-based tooth powders were all the rage. Eventually, the soap was swapped out for a more pleasant ingredient, and toothpaste, as we know it, was born. Before you get too comfortable, did you know that some modern toothpaste still contain surprising ingredients like seaweed? <laughs> Keep smiling. Just be glad you're not brushing with crushed bones and burnt toast. So, the next time you reach for the toothpaste, take a moment to appreciate how far we've come. From ox hooves and urine to fluoride and minty freshness. Oral <laughs> hygiene has been on quite the journey, and your smile is all the better for it. There is at least an ounce of wisdom that might be picked out from between the teeth of this little look back at dental hygiene. But for now, let's just focus on this one. Can you imagine yourself applying some of the things that were used in the past to keep your teeth clean? Well, at least folks were trying definitely progressed over the centuries. We have moved from barbers pulling teeth 
as a sideline. Yep, the same one that cut your hair, to highly trained dentists. From using soft wooden sticks and coarse animal hair brushes that were often shared, to your own hygienic brush or pressurized water appliance. Gritty and disgusting concoctions to polish your teeth and unfortunately wear the enamel off in the process, to refreshing and effective tooth products, mouth rinses, and even lasers to keep your choppers healthy and white. The steady march of progress moves forward in just about everything. The state of the art for the Egyptians, Romans, and those in medieval times, the Renaissance, and even our modern day keep advancing, and not just in how we take care of our smile. So, here's an ounce. Things change. Learn better, and then do better. And that's it. An ounce submitted for your consideration. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little look back at dental history, and if you did, please do give us a like, uh, subscribe, even share it with your friends, and hit the notification bell and all of that other stuff because we really do need all the help we can get and you're the only one who can provide it in convincing the algorithms of the interweb that we're worth watching. Thanks.